what I'm going to do with this tribute is talk to you in different accents. And once you're done watching this video, I'm going to test you to see if you can accurately identify each accent. I reckon it's not going to be that difficult. So as you can see here, I got a little yin and a yang in my hands to represent our relationship, of course. And uh, I would just like to say, uh, I wish my other half and très très joyeux anniversaire. Um, so there you go, that's the, um, that's the end of your test material. Uh, and I'm going to revert back to my normal accent now. Um, something I really admire about you is your curiosity and hunger for learning. Um, and I think it's, it's clear how well that served you in your professional life, but um, what I think is even more impressive is actually how you've been able to take that attitude and apply it to your personal life. Um, it's been a fantastic year with you, Mickey. I wish you a million tampons worth of happiness this year. All the best. Happy birthday, Mickey. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for the opportunity to hear it. Thanks. Um, I hope you have an amazing year. And um, I love working here. So thank you for hiring me. Happy birthday, Mickey. Um, I know that I'm new, but I am so grateful to be part of this team and to have met you. And I think that you are just the coolest lady. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful birthday and many more to come. All right. Favorite memory with Mickey has to be sharing a bed with her in London. I have never had that experience before with a boss and I, it was pretty um, noteworthy. You're a very good cuddler. <laughs> and what do I admire most about Mickey? Um, I truly admire your courage. I admire your resilience. I admire um, your heart and what you bring to um, the, the mission and the conviction that you have um, every day that you're present here, I think. I think the first time that I heard, I really heard and saw and felt the um, the conviction that you have to be a leader for this company um, that's really changing the world was when we were in Boston um, earlier last year and I'd heard your story for the first time outside of your book and it was really amazing, Mickey. So thank you for really leading um, leading and being the, the mission and the impact that you want to bring to the world. Happy birthday. Mickey! It's happy birthday! Hi Mickey, I'm sure you'll be getting like a bajillion of these from all your BFFs, so I'll keep it quick. Happy, happy birthday. I am so blessed to have you in my life. I'm thankful every day for your bravery and boldness and ingenuity and insistence that I don't eat gluten or dairy. You've changed my life and I can't wait to watch you change the lives of so many others this year and in years to come. Love you. Hi, Mickey. I just finished recording a tribute for you where I was like, you're probably gonna get a bajillion of these from all your BFFs because everybody loves you. So I'm gonna make it quick, happy birthday. You've changed my life, love you, goodbye. And then I had a moment where I realized that I just came from Grand Central fucking station and we watched our ads go up and it's just the most surreal thing. And so really genuinely, I. I'm so blessed to have you in my life. I'm thankful every day for your bravery and boldness and authenticity and ingenuity because there's nobody else in the world who would so quickly, like without blinking an eye, be down to put you know periods in huge words all over New York City. And um, you've changed my life in so many ways. I mean, I'm also really grateful that you insist I don't eat gluten and dairy. You know, it's just everything, and I can't wait to watch you change the lives of so many others this year and in the years to come. I love you.
Rossum. Happy birthday, girl. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Happy birthday Mickey. Mickey. This is the year that you're going to realizing stuff. I uh, just realize stuff all, all the time. time. 37, looking good. Shut your hair. Oh. <laughs> Mickey Pot. The community loves you. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mickey. Um, I hope your birthday's super awesome. I feel really lucky to be part of this team um, and this movement that you've created. Um, something I really admire about you is your strong sense of leadership. Um, as a pretty shy person, uh, I've learned a lot from just being around you. Hi, happy birthday. Um, I am just thrilled to help celebrate um, a new spin around the sun for you. And I am honored to get to work beside you every day. And I'm just thrilled with um, the work that you do on a daily basis to understand who you are as a woman and really explore um, your power and the depths of your mind and your spirit and your creativity. And I hope that that continues uh, threefold in your 37th year. And um, I hope today is just wonderful and we love you. Happy birthday, Mickey. I am going to totally wing this because I am a bumbling mess when I don't have a script. Um, <laughs> Simply stated, you are a life changer. You have completely changed my life. You have made me want to be great again and to achieve great things and to not apologize for wanting everything that this world has to offer and I feel so blessed to know you um, and thank you for taking a chance on me and giving me this opportunity to be a part of a movement <laughs> and to be a part of a little piece of your world. And um, I wish you the very happiest birthday and I wish you all the love that you so beautifully give. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mickey. Um, I think my favorite memory, um, sort of a series of memories, but I, I came to New York not really knowing what I was gonna do or what was gonna happen, but I figured um, you know, why not look around for a little bit? And I was on the street meeting up with Veronica, and we run into you, and you sort of accost me, and you say, who are you, what do you do, you know, what are you good at, blah, 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 in a very Mickey fashion, and I was um, just adjusting to New York, and I didn't know how to react, and so I was like, I, I don't really do anything, I don't really have any skills. Um, and the next couple of days I thought about that and I emailed you and I said, hey, you know, maybe I undersold myself a little bit. I'd love to, to meet you. So I came into CSI and um, I told you I still didn't really have any hard skills, but that I'd love to come work for you. And you said, oh, well, fine, why not? Let's do it. Um, and so you really took a flyer on me and really appreciated that. Um, and it really changed everything. Um, then few weeks later, I'm looking for my apartment to, to actually move here. Um, and I'm looking in Brooklyn, and I found this real estate agent on Craigslist. Um, and she shows me one apartment, it's not right. And she says, oh, there's one more place I can show you. So um, we walk over to 205 North 9th, and bear in mind, I'd only been there once. So it looked vaguely familiar, but I wasn't really sure. Um, and I go, uh, I think I've been here before. Um, so she takes me upstairs and we're walking down the hallway and we stop at this door and it has some corny Instagram quote on it. Um, and I go, hmm, you know, I'm starting to like be suspicious, like, oh, this could be Mickey's apartment. Um, she says, oh, well, they're on vacation. I knew you were on vacation. So I was like, uh, I think this is probably Mickey's apartment. Um, so anyways, she lets me in. She definitely wasn't supposed to let me in. Um, and we go in and we look around and there's the bidet, uh, or rather the 
the boudoir <laughs> um, and turn and look at the fridge and there's a picture of you and Andrea and I go, oh, this is my boss's apartment. Um, and she like swiftly kicks me out. She's oh, no, 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 we're not allowed to be in here. Anyways, end up living in your apartment um, and then you know, the rest is history. All right, happy birthday, Mickey. Thank you.